good morning, good afternoon, good evening to the KR Universe. Welcome to the second part of this uh, New York City journey of mine to uh, film the uh, my blog on the transcontinental journey of Dr. Sarasal in America that uh, happened in 1888 and in next year 2023 it would have been 135 years. I call this project the launching uh, episode because I was able to secure a uh, time with the uh, Philippine Consulate in New York City for courtesy uh, call to launch this project. I hope you guys will enjoy um, this um, uh, video um, and uh, learn a little bit about my adventure. This day was in November 4. It was a Friday. It was a nice Friday uh, with the uh, start of the um, the start of the weekend and a 70 degree plus uh, weather. Everybody was out, and uh, incidentally, also the uh, New, York, uh, New York City Marathon was uh, going to happen in in two days Sunday. Uh, so everybody was out, uh, including the tourists. Uh, um, the runners and uh, those who just wanted to enjoy a nice crisp day in November. Finding Rizal is uh, what I entitled the um, the blog about Rizal's uh, travel because I I think um, I I wanted to track uh, Rizal's probable adventure in uh, during this this time in uh, his life is only the only time that Rizal actually made it to America but more on that in the later video this is the poster uh, to commemorate the 135th anniversary uh, the um, concept was mine but the graphics I got from the uh, the internet Anyway, I hope you like that one. I always like the uh, sound of my Harley Davidson uh, whooping through the uh, uh, the interstate. Uh, in part one, I did say that we ended up in um, Holiday Inn late at night, uh, around eight o'clock. Actually, it was pretty dark, and with the um, deer season, it was, uh, was we were lucky not to be not to have um, uh, hit a deer. The night uh, falling, uh, the sun falling, uh, in the horizon. Um, so, this is the facade of the Holiday Inn. It was a nice hotel, and I would recommend it. Clean uh, people were nice. Um, the at 9:30, me and my son got ready to leave the Holiday Inn and continue with our our mission. Uh, this time we were going to meet uh, a co, uh, a fellow Knights of Rizal, uh, wherein I will be uh, securing my um, my trailer so that I can use the Harley Davidson in Manhattan without uh, worrying about the trailer. And while my son goes to Yale to meet a friend um, uh, that day. This is the uh, the Google Map. It would have it took us about 15 minutes to get from the New the Holiday Inn Express uh, in, in Newton um, to uh, a, uh, to Pampton, New Jersey. It was a 15-minute ride uh, through uh, Route uh, 23. But of course, before we reached Route 23, we had to go through minor roads leading to it. Uh, at night, this would this road would have been hard to maneuver because of uh, there was poorly lit. It was uh, like almost a country road. Uh, this is just a shot of my uh, Harley Davidson uh, uh, being towed on my trailer. I thought maybe you'd like to see 
guys. That is uh, what we end up doing, but this is actually what I want had in mind all throughout that uh, uh, fifth uh, hour uh, ride to uh, to my friend in um, Hampton. In the meantime, this view wasn't such a bad view either. First uh, fall, fall day with the sun out, so it, it was it was a nice ride. Although I am riding in a, in a cage, we call it, but pretty soon I'll be riding my Harley Davidson. So we came up to Pompton, New Jersey, to meet uh, Sir Chris Gonzalez, who was. Uh, on his way to actually to um, go to a Masonic uh, meeting, he is both a member of the Masons and uh, Knights of Rizal. He was kind enough to let me uh, park my trailer uh, in his uh, house, pretty safe, he says. And um, he um, uh, actually uh, was also, like I said, on his way to Atlantic City after securing. Um, my trailer I can't wait to get to hit the road but we had to pause for some pictures and uh, and do uh, one more thing before I go to uh, Manhattan uh, just wanted to share this picture this is uh, the day my last day in New Jersey this is where my trailer ended up being tattered to it was raining that day and we were on our way back to um, Ohio. I didn't know if there was somebody at home so I decided to call my son and see how long it was going to take him to meet here. He said 45 minutes so I uh, end up uh, actually just going to Dunkin Donuts and uh, waiting for him there while it, it was still drizzling. Um, when we when I left for uh, Chris I, he's he's almost like a neighbor with uh, Sir Ma, Sir Doctor Manny Malasig. So I did a courtesy visit. Sir Doctor Manny Malasig is the chapter commander of New Jersey chapter. Um, his uh, very supportive wife, uh, Lady Ditas, was upstairs uh, on a on a conference call uh, that day. So we just um, talked a little bit about uh, my project, about his chapter, my chapter, and his plans for January. It was uh, fast approaching 10.30 uh, with uh, this opportune time when there's no traffic in, uh, with the rush hour being over. I decided uh, to uh, uh, head, on, uh, head on the road and go to Manhattan. You can see here though my friend uh, Ernie or uh, my son already left at this point so Ernie is the only person, the only uh, companion I have almost like a person. Um, I think it's better than having my son with me because he's, he's quiet and doesn't complain much. Anyway, don't tell my son. So before I left uh, Sir Chris to Sir uh, Dr. Mani Malasig, I did uh, the compulsory KOR sign before hitting the road with my uh, full regalia for uh, uh, a nice uh, ride. It is almost uh, 10 degrees uh, cooler when you ride in the bike, so it's like 60 degrees. Um, when uh, I took this picture, my son already left. Sir Chris was on his way to Atlantic City as well, so we parted ways here. My son was uh, a part of this uh, film. 
he worked on this film uh, in uh, Cleveland in October 2021 for an Asian American film uh, film called called Lunchbox. It was accepted in three um, international festivals, film festivals: Hawaii International, Queens World, and San Diego Asian American. I guess he was just happy to see his name on uh, the white uh, the white screen. This is the, my track uh, from uh, Hampton, New Jersey. I went further east and towards the Holland Tunnel to get to um, Manhattan. It was uh, such a rush being able to use my Harley Davidson weaving through traffic. Uh, it was just an adrenaline rush. It was worth every minute of it. I really enjoyed it. I should do it more often. This is when I reached uh, Canal Street and Broadway. I decided to stop and ask random pedestrians to take pick my picture. Some of them obliged, some of them just walked by. I don't blame them, but uh, for the most part, uh, the locals were used to people asking for asking them to take uh, pictures of tourists. So, um, like I said, Ernie did not make it. Somehow, his uh, legs got uh, shattered in the back of back tire of the, of the, uh, the Harley Davidson. So. I had to give him peace so I end up not having uh, Ernie the back of my Harley Davidson was sad but had to be That was the sound of the city for you, uh, with the uh, ambulance um, blaring, uh, ambulance uh, siren blaring at the at the back. Um, I um, parked my car, my uh, Harley Davidson here, and I took the picture from this uh, vantage point. This is uh, Canal Street, and uh, Broadway was uh, uh, the inter uh, intersection of that. So as you can see, it was a very nice day. The sun was out. Uh, I really enjoyed that, uh, that uh, trip uh, to, uh, like it was a start of uh, adventure, uh, seeing um, New York City for the first time on the Harley Davidson. One thing about parking, like I said, it was a, almost like a strategic operation. Uh, this uh, machine here is the um, parking meter that you would have to really read between the lines or read the fine print because otherwise you might have problems with uh, being towed if you don't follow the instructions. Some of the areas, uh, the parking are for commercial vehicles only and there are times and they, they open it for private uh, vehicles and so this uh, machine here is very important in uh, life in the city and riding in New York City. <laughs> 